This is an interview with my dad, Lee. So, dad, what events in your life have you enjoyed the most? Well, well, obviously getting married was the number one event that I've enjoyed the most. Um, hmm, that's a really good question. What have I enjoyed the most? Well, my gosh. Uh, gosh, what have I enjoyed the most? Raising a couple of kids, that's been a really challenging but enjoyable uh, thing, yeah. Um, wow, I'm stuck. you really got me. What I've enjoyed the most? Um, I think just being a success at DJing, having the confidence to go singing, that give, gives me satisfaction looking back on that. Mm -hmm. um, what other things I've enjoyed the most? Gosh, I must not have accomplished much if I can't think of that I've enjoyed the most. Um, I've enjoyed reading Walter Scott immensely. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got to add on that one. Okay, and so what job did you want when you were a teen? Um, well, the, the careers advisor uh, had an interview with me at school about what job uh, I should be taking um, and in truth I actually thought I would um, well I gave two jobs that I said I'd be good at I said I'd like to become either a brain surgeon or a fighter pilot but unfortunately he said Fred I can't help you there have you thought of becoming a sign writer because he knew I was good at art mm -hmm. um, so obviously I wasn't really thinking practically as a teenager about what job I would get. Mm. I really wasn't thinking of the bigger picture. I suppose I was just imagining that life would continue forever and I would not have to do anything but just remain in the cradle of my parents' nest forever. But little did I realise how quickly I was going to be kicked out. Any other questions? What age have you enjoyed being the most? What age? Ooh. Well, the thing is, as you get older, you become wiser. Uh, so, I, I think I'm enjoying being 50 right now. Even though I've only been 50 for one month and a few days, I'm enjoying it the most. Simply because I'm, I'm really healthy. I'm eating healthy, I'm keeping fit, and I'm almost back um, physically to the, to the uh, strength I had when I was 15 or 16. So when I go out jogging, doing a 5k, it reminds me of when I was 13 and I had a job working with the milkman. I'd get up at 4.30 in the morning and I'd... Go and meet, I had to walk about a, a, a mile or two to go and meet him at 5.30 in the morning and then spend six hours running around the city of Walkton and Little Holton delivering milk. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was keeping fit, I was running so fast every Saturday morning, all for just for three quid. But the driver himself, he was only getting paid 25 quid, at least that's what he told me. Um, so, yeah, now, now is the area I've been enjoying the most because I'm, I'm at a physical peak and I'm, I think that my mental facilities, faculties, are, well, as you get older, you learn from your mistakes. So rather than worrying about them, you, you get to a certain age where you realise there's no point worrying, you just got to deal with it and you... Um, figure ways to just to solve the problems um, and that's not what I had when I was younger I would just worry um, I would just worry about silly stuff I mean mm -hmm. I remember when I'd left college and the co oh, I was stupid because I didn't go back to college and collect my artwork and I left it for like six or nine months and I thought, oh, I'll go and apply for a job now, doing some graphic design work. I could take my portfolio and the college had burnt them because I didn't collect them straight away. Oh. 
So I ended up just getting a job working in a pub. Um, and then I was thinking to myself, this is not what I want for my life. And then I start worrying about it. And then I start thinking, well, what jobs do I want? And although, rather than looking at the positive, I was looking at the negative. And I was thinking, well, I don't want to put the ends on cotton buds. That would be too tedious. Or put the boot polish in tins. I mean, that'd be quite boring and sitting on a production line doing that all day. Mm. Um, so I think I did, then I, did, I thought, well, no, I'm going to become a singer. And I remember actually going to a, the, the news agents at the top road and buying a pad and a pencil, lib specifically to write songs in. But then that, that was obviously a delusion because I wasn't treating it as a business. It was just me having a rant. Mm. Any other questions? Oh, well that was short and sweet then. Yeah, well done, okay, stop there. <laughs>